hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get it's nice having a class we are going to continue from where we stopped on the last video and by continuation not that uh, the other video was not complete but we want to show you something different or we want to show you a different approach on how to plot your boundaries how to how to plot your survey data you know um, you can always go back to that video the link to that video is on the description section of this particular video where you can see the exhaustive explanation we made on that particular video on this video however we are going to show you how to plot your boundaries using your distances and bearings so let's say per adventure you have not gotten your coordinates or let's say you just have the coordinates of one point because you definitely need it so let's say you just have the coordinates of one point and you have the bearings and the distances of all the other lines so how do you now generate the maybe the plot or how do you generate the coordinates of the other boundary that's what we want to show to you on AutoCAD and again there are other applications let's say um, a survey plan was sent to you like the one we have on the other video which you can check out and you were only given the, uh, the coordinates of one point and maybe the PDF was sent to you and on the PDF the distance and the bearings of were indicated and you were asked to generate the coordinates of the other point maybe you want to go and set out maybe you want to go and locate the point you, know, you want to know exactly where the location of that plot is so that's what we want to show to you and there are other applications you can actually think of so without spending much time let's delve into the business of the day so the first thing now is that you are going to plot that your first point i mean the point whose coordinates you know so we are going to use the uh, p line which is the polyline tool right so you just click on polyline when you click on polyline it will ask you to specify your start point and by this your start point is actually the coordinates of that point you know maybe point one point four any point that the case may be so you just um, type in the coordinates of that point so we are having something like um, eight six zero zero four four point two four seven and then we are having six hundred three five five point two zero eight right good so we can now see that automatically because we are working on that particular area it has moved it to this point so maybe when you're working on your own since you don't know where the points are already you maybe not see it as it's as it is now so you will see it maybe still in the space but when you are done you just to some extent it will come back to where your plot is are we together so yeah so maybe if you just put off your autocad set up your unit which is definitely what you are going to do perhaps we didn't say it on this video you set up your unit and maybe you just continue with what we are showing to you now so you might not see it exactly on that point but you definitely see it when you do what you also best good so we have our first point the next thing now is that we need our other point so for us to be able to get our other point what we do we come to this particular command line and then we type shift and then two just make sure that you have at there at you understand that um, symbol of at so you're using your keyboard you have a shift two that will give it at then you now um, impute your distance your distance the, the first distance we have here is uh, 208.959 then we need the next um, next symbol there the next symbol there is um, less than so how do you get it on your keyboard say what shift i think we have command there right good so whatever it is on your keyboard you just need to get that um, less than symbol right so when you get that less than symbol next thing you do is what you impute your what you call it your bearing bearing of the line so we have a um, 101 then for your degree you don't use the symbol you just use the letter d right so you use the letter d then your minute you use the normal symbol for minutes and then for your seconds 
you use the normal symbol of your segments. Are we together? So the most important thing at this point of the video is for you to know that you do what you use what at for your um, for your distance, then the less than for what for your bearing, then you hit enter. You see now that it has moved to that particular point, following that distance and what and that uh, direction, which is the bearing. So that's how we are going to do for the other one. We still have what our shift at. Then the distance for this one, I think, is 119.950. Then we have something like uh, 201 degrees. We have 22 minutes. And then we have um, 13 seconds, right? Then we hit enter again. You see now that it has come to the second point. Now for the third one. We have something like we still go back to our we still go back to our art there. Then we have our distance to be 187.368. Then we do what we have our less than symbol or the less than there. Then we have 238 degrees. We have um, 56 minutes and then we have what 10 seconds. Enter. You see, we are almost getting to the end. Then we still come back to what the at. Then we have um, 249.534. Then we also have um, our less than right. That should be less than right. Good. Then we have um, 359. Then we have 50 minutes and 54 seconds. Enter. So just hit your enter or the space uh, the space tab there so you have what you have your plot now this approach is applicable in let's say you can apply it at different points or as we've explained at the beginning of the video depend on what you want to do and the situation on ground when you have a coordinate of one point and you have the distances and the bearings of subsequent lines you can use this particular method you have what the at for your distance like you indicate the point at for your distance and less than what for what you're bearing so with this you can be able to do what you can be able to plot your what do you call it you can be able to plot your boundary and you move on to the other part of the uh, annotations or maybe the modifications or maybe getting your normal survey plan as we have explained on the previous video so we had to do this as a, a follow-up to that other video so that you can see that yes in as much as you can plot with your coordinates you can as well plot with your what with your distances and your yeah. so thanks for coming to class we hope we've provided solution to this particular survey problem if you have any issue you can always contact us and we'll try our best to get back to you as soon as possible until we see you on our next video, ensure you stay safe and have a nice time. Bye.